we get to it, let's start w with the, the big movers and shakers of the day. Hormuz. You know, we highlighted this in the morning as well, right? The market getting making highs, not sustaining at those levels. And we saw that in the last hour of trade as well. And as we spoke during the 11, uh, between the 11 to 12 wheel about the railway stocks that were doing very well. At one point, they were all up 7%, 8%, but all of them saw a vertical slide from the highest point of the day in line with the market movement there. RVNL, IRFC, IRCON, all of them ending significantly off the highest point of the day. RVNL was up almost 10% at one point, ending only 5.5% higher. News came in towards the end of trading Coal India. Uh, the first thing that came about was the fact that it will miss its production targets for FY24. Nuama, although is estima already estimating a lower uh, target for the company, but as Nigel highlighted in closing bell, that the street is worried about the e-auction premiums and that is what spooked the street there, 4% lower for Coal India. On the flip side, a PSU that did very well in today's session was NHPC, 4.5% higher there. This fifth day of gains and the 15% fall that it had in Monday's trading session, which was last Monday, it has recovered all of that in the last five days of gains. What an unlikely gainer in today's session, we don't talk about this stock a lot of, uh, very often, was Force Motors, 9.5% higher today and there's not the first time that this has gained. It's been up for the last two, three sessions, up 33% now in the last three trading sessions. Market cap crossing 7,000 crores in today's session. Arvind Smart Spaces, some news flow coming in there. Its entire inventory in one of its projects in Bengaluru was sold out in just seven hours, 10% higher there, and it's up almost 150% over the last 12 months. A fertilizer stock that did well, another PSU, that's FACT, and inclusion in the FTSE All World Index, and another 6% higher today off the day's high but it's up almost 250 percent in the last 12 months another news slow that took place towards the close of trade was a block deal that happened in kotak mahindra bank almost worth over 400 crore rupees the stock fluctuating a little underperforming the market today and almost 24 lakh shares changing hands in today's session and lastly mrpl that has had a stellar move over the last five trading sessions and a double digit gains in four out of the last five sessions it was only friday that the stock was down a bit but it's up almost 150 percent in this year itself and we are not even first two months complete into the new year back to you all right uh, thanks very much uh, or <coughs> almost for that that's a comprehensive uh, wrap of what happened in the day's action